Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, been looking for creatures <laughs> and kind of on a losing effort in that regard because this planet's uh, creatures have mainly already been all discovered. Uh, the ones I'm trying to look for are, uh, uncommon, and also always underground, so that's going to be a problem. So, really, I have to find an underground cavern, which maybe I can do, but maybe not. But for right now... Oh, that's right, I forgot. That's also why my, uh, inventory is very full. Uh... If I go over to my exosuit here, I have collected a huge amount of pearls. And now I can get some more. So. Here we are. I'm going to go over here and just loot all of this. Oh, wait. That's right. Because <laughs> I already looted these. It's not up. <laughs> ah, I'm silly. I'm silly. Okay. Well. Now that we've confirmed, I can't do anything there. And I need to f find a way to get underground. Let's do the rest of my stuff. It is a bit of a cave here. Question is, is it an inhabited cave? I guess that is the question. That's what we need to ask ourselves. Answer so far seems to be no. Because we've scanned almost everything else that can be available, so really it's just a hunt for well, maybe. Nope, these were looted too. <laughs> so I already looted these. Okay. Just trying to work my way down. And we're at bottom. And nothing. I like how I moved slightly a little bit, and then this thing kept wanting to move around. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Did that. Are these copper? Well, why would I turn that down? Then? Copper and cobalt. All in one. I turn that down. Beautiful. Alright. With that... I think these aren't copper. Nope, these are just cobalt. So it's just really the rest of these... stalactites here. Wait, which one? The one from the top again? I forget. I forget. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. And we're good. A little copper is always good. And since we've basically exhausted the, uh, for lack of a better phrase, we've l <laughs> exhausted the depths of this hole. Yes, yes, children, get your giggles out. Get your giggles out now. Alright, anyway, now that we've done that, we're going to move on to possibly another cave, and hopefully, hopefully that cave has a little bit more something for us. He phrases, hopefully. Alright. Well, we're in a mountainous area. We at least got that going for us. But beyond that, I don't think there's a... chances of uh, finding what we're looking for. I wonder if they do anything. No, they just look cool. That is really freaking cool though. Alright. Uh, okay, what is this? Ferrite dust. Well, I might need ferrite dust. 
There we go. I keep hitting that button when I mean to do this one. Erg. Okay. Um, ferrite dust. We're not actually doing too bad. Starship is out of range. My frigate is not, though. Okay, yeah. Good idea that I got some copper. And there we go. Perfect. Now... Let's see if I can find another cave system. Huh? The phrase. Try. Well, I'll take this. Corvax word for here. Hmm. Good word to know. I'm thinking that is berry technology. Good. I keep doing that. I keep hitting the wrong Don't stupid button. Falling. Yeah, I know. I know. Don't worry about it, darling. I know. Uh, ion battery from the ship. Good. Uh, salvage data. Oh, I have another spot for it. Well, then let's go for it. I'm going to drive myself insane hitting that wrong button over and over and over again. Alright. Now this time it was my fault. I went into the right pocket already. Okay, I was expecting it to not. Oh, that was four of them? Nice. Alright. Just need to find a cave system. Oh boy. This is going to be a long day. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> yeah. At least the animals are available. They've already been scanned. Whee! Ow! Ended next to a hazardous plant. Should have known better. Ammonia. Well, let's at least go towards the tech. Be good. There it is. And fall. Good. Huh. Well, I was expecting there to be more cave systems, but I guess I just wasn't that lucky. Some of these plants are really weird looking. Not gonna lie. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get luckier. You know, the sun is up. It's fairly obvious that there's not going to be any more luck in that regard. It's not in this valley. Alright. Let's get my uh, ship down here. Thank you. And let's get out of here. Alright, launch thrusters are at 51%, so I can at least do a couple of drops and lands before uh, I give up and go to a different planet altogether. Reminds me, I should double check. How many other planets in the system are there? I'm currently on IOR. IOR. Ikuga checked everything. No planetary fauna. So that's not an option. Uh, Ribhainzib. It's also a similar situation. Viviaxis. Same. Iguchi. I've already discovered all of them. The unknown planet. 
I guess the unknown planet is really the only other option I have. I can't find anything here. Well, I guess that's my only other option. Just so we continue pushing the plot forward. I also have other missions I could be doing, but this one seems like an easier knock out of the park sort of thing. Is that maybe the other planet? Possibly. Hopefully. Yes, it is. All right. Zoom! All right. Oops. Hit the wrong button. What I meant to do scan it. So that way by the time I get there, I know what's on it. A nuclear planet. Uranium. I could use that. Gato 85S9. Gamma root, copper, uranium, and salt. Alright. Once we get there, I'll bring the frigate above the planet. So I need to check in on the frigate as well. Wow! This was a longer distance than I thought it would be. Yeah, that's fine. Something will change. Something will change soon, I'm sure of it. Coming in on the dark side, it looks like, so it's going to be nighttime here. Alright. Get through the atmosphere. Push on through and through the clouds, and whoa! Purely covered in water. Well, that's going to be a problem if I'm trying to land on it. Okay, well. Yeah. Looks like it's purely water. this side that I landed on. Got some land masses here. Let's see if I can use them to land on. Yes. Just barely, though. Initiate land in sequence. And... the plop Good. The contaminated puddles. Yeah. Low security average. Fauna generous. Interesting. Well, let's see. What can we scan on this little island we're on now? Answer? Not much. It's unidentified mineral. Mineral. Some carbon off of that. kind of mineral that I'm not really seeing. This one has uranium. Oh, these tiny things. Okay. Is there another ship on here? Oh, I'll be damned! Alright. Alrighty. Well... Since the other, only other option in this planet is to go into the water. There we go. Geronimo! Oh! Well, that's not good, is it? But we're going to finish off the scanning creatures a bit. Wow. There's a lot of them. Scanning that I unknown. Oh, that! That's what I was scanning. 
Oh, there we go. There we go. Pretty cool. Identified minerals. They are shiny. Oh, they're dihydrogen. Oh, they're dihydrogen. Dihydrogen and... What was it? Chlorine. Well. Oops. <laughs> That's just salt. Salt and ferrite dust. Okay. Well. Gotta make sure which, which one I'm grabbing. Oxygen level's critical. Ah, crap. And the radiation is starting to seep into my suit. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, well. Do that. Uh, that. Get into the damn. Okay, well, time to zoom up because I can't get any air into the suit yet. So I do that. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, that was too close. Oh, that was too close. All right. Oxygen recycler. Okay, and we're doing good. Doing fine. <laughs> uh, too close. A little too close. Don't remember where I got the scaly meat. Yeah, well. I suppose it doesn't matter all that much. Put some chlorine away. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Look at them. There's something. Marobivium. Huh. Yeah, I'm aware. Supplementary oxygen enabled. I know. Whoop. Accidentally killing creatures because I keep flying in front of my freaking mining beam. Uh... Alright. Those. They are armored clams. Okay. Option, at least. What do we got here? Pure salt. Get some plants as well. The sea life is making it really difficult to get scans on everything else in this damn ocean. They are really making it difficult. Tell you what. Okay, you know what? There we go. Now we're getting the scan going finally. Alright. Oh boy. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get some of these, too. Huh. Crystal sulfide. I might need to get some of that. Ships flying over. Alright. I'm gonna dive real quick to get that crystal sulfide while I have an opportunity to. Then, as soon as I can, get out of here. Oh, oh, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. But. There wasn't much I was going to be able to do about it. Okay, just making sure I get everything I can scan down. Especially now that I'm out of reach of the other freaking animals that will block my view. What are these? Some more dihydrogen. 
resources. That ain't too bad. Alright. Grab this last one. And get out of here. Punish my oxygen with these. Really, they're best in main use. I think I got most everything here that's available. Yeah, 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 I know. Is there an ion battery that should keep it quiet? Okay. So discoveries for this planet. All minerals discovered. Only four. There's 13 total. Jesus, so I need nine more. My goodness. According to this, it has a lot more landmass. So did I just hit the biggest ocean here or what? I don't know. No idea. But. It's at least another one I can upload. Haha, -ha. 60 nanites. Beautiful. Let's head up. We can get back to the ship. I am. There we go. I was about to say, I am pretty far down. My ship. There's my ship. Yes, yes, I know. Hard for me not to know. Alright. And my inventory is full, looks like. Well, yeah, that makes sense, considering. Alright. Put that there. I'm pretty sure I have a spot here for it. I do. Good, now we're sitting at 11. Sitting real good. And boy, swimming is slow. <laughs> All right. There we go. Although now I kind of want to know for sure if I just found the biggest ocean on the planet or what. So before I go back to the frigate to go to the scientist... flying in this direction until I prove my theory or uh, find out that the <laughs> planetary view was lying to me. Either or. A lot of other little islands, but no giant landmass. With how big it looked on the planetary view, one would think it should be visible by now. Hmm. Well, there's a big landmass. Big old island. Big enough, I'm going to investigate. Oh, hey. Look at that. Number of other little land masses. And down we go. Perfect. <laughs> what the hell is this? This looks like an armored clam, but on the surface. That's weird. That is real weird. Extra carbon from these. I'm noticing an alluring specimen. That's what that is. Okay. Well, if the alluring specimen is over in this direction... I 
it is. Forty-one away. Okay. It looks like it's down too. Is it like underground down or what the? How did I not notice you? It's a little land crab. Good pollinator. Really? Okay. That's unique. The alluring specimen looks like it is in the water. Okay. Well, that's what I figured. And time to recharge this again. I have 22. Ugh. That's not good. It's going to become a problem soon enough. Well, the alluring specimen looks to be this thing. Pure ferrite and uranium. Oh. That's why it's a... Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, okay. Okay. Okay, all right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ho 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 ho. Ho 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 Specimen. <laughs> you got me. You got me good. <laughs> oh boy. Now I don't know where it went. But it's fine. It's probably for the past that I don't do that again. <laughs> oh shit. Holy tits. Yeah, no, no. That makes sense. Uh, well, at least I got a decent amount of stuff. Bunch of head al cores. A horrific sample. A highly pressurized fleshy orb. One can feel it push back when touched. A flash of bioluminescence stirring in the inky black core of this mysterious object. Was I basically harvesting that creature's balls? Is that what I was doing? Harvesting their balls? No wonder they jumped out to kill me. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, back up as much as can. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I don't need this yet. What I need to do is pop this full. Well, there's another one. Okay. Alright. Well, those were submerged relics. Okay. Still, still a little on edge from that thing. <laughs> I'm fine. I'll be fine. But, damn. That got me good. That got me real good. Real freaking good. Oh, look at these. What have we got here? Uranium deposits. And primarily ferrite dust. Considering how useful ferrite dust is. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Oh, identified minerals with these. Ferrite dust and uranium. Okay. What do we got here? Ten minerals discovered. And I think... 
Oh. So 10 mineral samples discovered. So I think I've gotten all of those. And six discovered here. I've gotten all of those. And okay. All right. Be a shame to leave this massive bunch of useful things just to sit here. Then again, I do have a full backpack, so I kind of can't do all of that. I'm. Crystal sulfide is very cheap compared to the Hadal core. I don't think the Hadal core would be used for anything. At least I don't think so. Let's keep it in here for now. Oh, that's not what I wanted. What I wanted to do is all this. Slowly. But surely. work my way through all of this just to collect a lot of ferrite dust because boy will we need it eventually uranium is useful too but mainly for the ferrite dust this ferrite dust as a base component can be run through really quickly. Hey. Free money. There we go. Oh, that's good. Ooh, some dihydrogen crystals as well. Let me turn that down. Always, always will need those. Gonna change. That will never change. What? Oh. The geodes, that's why. Oh, man. Okay, I put these here. Good. There we go. And any other crystals? Nope. Okay. Cool. We're done. We're done. We're out of here. We're going back to the frigate. Forthwith. I uh, forgot to put it in place, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, boy. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to go up. <laughs> up, you moron. Up. All right. And as I breach through the atmosphere, I should... What? What? Oh, hey. How's my money situation doing? Not good. <laughs> Don't even bother. Don't even bother. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to fast forward from my ship. Fast forward. Pulse engine. Plus not. Same shtick. Same basic concept. Alright, here we are. Fly over to the ship. Rather fly over to the capital ship, I should say. Whip. Man, I can't wait until I can customize this. It'll take a lot more money, though. Whip it up. There we go. Better. Haha. <laughs> Lyratin, and here we are. Beautiful. All right. Let's see if I can fly myself up to this now. Aha! I can. 
nice. I've got enough upgrades for it. Have other ships flown in with me? Yes, they have. Interesting. Always nice to see the local ship. Is that... That is what I thought. Hmm. Cool. Alright. Keep doing that. I keep hitting that when I mean to do the sprinting. Wrong control. Wrong control. Wrong control scheme. Wrong English, Tom. Jesus. Ratio Christ. Alright. Talk to you. Hello. Do you have the data, Traveler? My child cannot see the world as you see it. To share your scans will be to share your consciousness with them. It is a tremendous gift. Hey! What sights? By way of thanks, my child has prepared you a blueprint. They have learned how to make unstable gel. They hope it makes you happy. I'm hoping so too. Cactus flesh. Interesting. Unstable gel, you say. Okay. Traveler, this data has raised a concern. As a beacon, my child could receive signals from unknown sources all across the galaxy. I will be unable to protect them from the unsavory thoughts of the Gek or the harsh scans of the Sentinels. If you find ion batteries, I will prepare polyfiber blueprints and we shall weave them a protective cloak. Well, I do have a lot of ion batteries. Do not delay, Traveler. Their young mind is very impressionable. I mean, you got a point. I don't know if I would have phrased it quite that way, but you got a point. Well, hey, look at that. Got some gut rot. That would be for the farmer. I think, isn't it? Hiling Usu. My parents wanted me to be a sales gag, just as they were. And as all 300 of my other offspring... Of their other offspring were. He is... Ooh, that would be weird. But my passion is for the earth, for the taste and smell of its bounty. Why were we get born with this palette if not to use it? Okay, I could have sworn that would have been for him. Let's talk to you. Have you found the ion bot batteries, Traveler? Batteries? The Corvax looks anxious. Their disconnection from the Convergence and their anxiety for their child is taking its toll. Perhaps the batteries will help them settle. Hopefully. Thank you, Traveler. It is good that we can protect the little beacon, but I fear it may not be enough. You should take a copy of the polyfiber plans. They may be of some use to you. Now please, give me some time to educate my child. Okay. Some more stuff with cactus flesh and star bulbs. Okay. It's educating their beacon child. <laughs> have to wait for an hour and a half. Alright. Okay. Um, I think the rest of the stuff would be in the log then. Uh, find and interrogate the pirate. That's what I need to do for that. Didn't I just do this? I did. Okay. It just didn't register. That's weird. How is the gut rot flower, friend? Does it blossom? Is it heavy with fruit? Wait, you said fruit in quotation marks. How do I see quotation marks? I guess that's not the point. Uh, yes. Yes, I did actually get the fruit. Beautiful friend, we shall make a farmer out of you yet. While I prepare a dish of fragrant wonder, another agricultural challenge awaits you. Frostwort. Oh yeah, that thing. I can make glass out of that. I just need some frost crystal and dioxide for it to be growing, and then I have an endless supply. The frostwort is a tricky thing, friend. It flourishes where other plants fail, thrusting its roots through ice and snow. But such a hard life is not for us. Plant one here, in your own home, and be spared the pain of winter. Erling Osu has asked me to grow a frostwort plant and prove our hydroponic system can replicate any environment. That'd be good. Wonderful, friend. It is a delicate thing to look at for such a hardy plant. Please do enjoy it. Oh, I intend to. All right. Do I have... Wait. Do I already have some? 
said return to the farmer. Do I already have some? No. What are they talking about? I don't even have dioxide. That's not good. I need that. Huh. I'll definitely need to expand the farm area. Oh, is it? Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Not here, but here. Beautiful. And put that in there. Good. Good, 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 good. Let's charge that with another ion battery. Perfect. How is our store? We're at 16 of those. Ugh. I should get to making more. Uh, let's see. Change stack size. Not use all of it, mind you, but that much should be good. And just craft more from here. That's going to take a while. But with that in mind and me just doing this, I'm just going to end the episode here for right now. But before I forget, let's check on those uh, flights that I had been doing. Those expeditions. Expeditions. Uh... There we go. Running this way. And which one had them? This one. Fleet command online. Calibrating debrief the commander. Okay. 4,300 light years. Wow. Got some indium. Ambushed by pirates while towing mineral deposit for the planet. Situation resolved. Hostile failed to account for the momentum of the rocks. Enemy starship destroyed and on impact. Mineral deposit spoiled. Offset losses by claiming bounty. Patrolled the system. Encountered mercenary frigate running neutral colors. Enemy vessel attempted to surrender. No quarter given to pirates. Hostiles eliminated. Ooh, got some iridescite out of that. Nice. Zoological research team deployed. Encountered moderate-sized creature on planet. Unusual head-to-body ratio. Crew reported that creature was almost entirely teeth. Yeesh. Hailed trade frigate in sector freighter was transporting waste material from alloy manufacturer. Purchased tons recycled into commercial grade metal. Wow. That's a lot. Detected fast-moving metal bodies in the sector. Scrambled fighters. Bodies proved to be metal-rich asteroid. Fired weapons. Collected metal scrap for sale. Encountered pirate fleet. Destroyed 52 enemy vessels. Remaining hostiles, hostiles fled. Planetary Exploration Team encountered crashed ship. On approach, distress beacon projected a large red orb. Orb appeared to scan crew, then vanished. Recovered valuable salvage from ship. Arrived in system. Local Corvax trader offered shares in their soil. Decontamination business. Spate of nanite infestations led to spike in demand. Investment successful. Learned of investment opportunity while refueling in the system. Local Planet Propagation Service had mastered exotic hybridization techniques. Purchased large share of the business. Cultivated good relations with the Corvax, secured preferential trade deal in the system, discovered planet with large bird population, zoological research team deployed, birds appeared to create elaborate stick houses, spending days decorating their nests with mineral fragments and brightly colored flora. Cool. Investigated strange signals in the Gusp and Suv system. Traced broadcast to crash freighter, hull shattered, but cargo pods in good condition, extracted valuable minerals. Ground crew encountered colossal underwater creatures while searching for hypothermal vents. Hydrothermal. Slow and move slow moving and docile. They gathered around the vents for warmth. Creatures appeared to be in to enjoy being scanned. That's weird. Hunted and destroyed troublemakers at the request of local space station chief, rewarded by Viking authorities. Mining crew discovered tunnels on planet, reinforced existing bulwarks, and commenced exploration. Rich mineral seam detected. Wow, I did a lot. Salvage crew began operation on planet Rimalag. Rimalmag? That's the word. Cut hole and crashed freighter hull. Crew surprised by release. Oh, boy. I can't scroll up. Damn it. Traded goods between planets. 
Perform deep space scan, celestial bodies observed, 59, primary star class G4, and then returned home. Boy, we got a lot of stuff. Look at all that. Look at all that. So successful. Wow! 2.3 million credits. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, we finally hit our stride now, haven't we? Oh, man, that's great. That's fantastic. Okay, Gek Relics would be going here. Okay. Unrefined Pyrite Grease. Mm. Sack Venom would be sold. Hmm. Tradable Minerals. Hmm. It'd be highly valued in mining, manufacturing economies, rather. Okay. Well, in that case, best not to hold on to them for too long, but at the same time, where would they go? That's a good question. Huh. Anyway. anyway. Indium, we'll deal with that. Uh, there we go. A lot of it. Damn. Okay. Your death site. Go here. That's fine. Oops. Meant to go here. Hot ice. That's useful for some things, but where should I store it? Uh, store it here for now. Yeah. That should be good. Alright. And I guess we'll sell... Wait. Semiconductors. That also needs to go in the same storage compartment. There we go. And... Herox. That goes... Here. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Um... Herox, Dirty Bronze, and Lemium. I can't make it yet, though. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. It's an option, though. We'll get there eventually. Oh, <sighs> boy. Alright, in that case, let's sell some of the stuff. But... Ah, oh, yeah, that's the pirate I needed to go to. Forgot about that. Well, I'll do that next episode. For now... Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments to bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Kind of stumbled there. But hey, it worked out. I managed to finish it. So, this has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and traveling to a new planet in this system. Discovering that it is mainly purely water. But, uh, got some valuable minerals there as well. But then again, so does every planet. And now we're just getting all the other missions done for our uh, base crew. Uh, we got to deal with the pirate one next, but uh, while we wait, might as well set up another expedition before we head down to get that one. Yeah, sounds good to me. For you.